This is part 20 of Link Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss element operators. All of these standard query operators belong to element operators category. In general, element operators retrieve a single element from a sequence using the element index or based on a condition. All of these methods have a corresponding overloaded version that accepts a predicate using which we can define the condition. Let's look at these operators one by one with examples. First, there are two overloaded versions of this method. The overloaded version that does not have any parameters simply returns the first element of a sequence. So here we have an integer array called numbers which contain numbers from 1 to 9. And notice that we are executing the first method against that numbers sequence which will simply return the first element from the sequence. The first element here is 1, so the output will be result equals 1. I have this exact same program within Visual Studio here. When we run this, as you might expect, we get the output result equals 1. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we execute this method against an empty sequence? It's going to throw an invalid operation exception. So if the sequence does not contain any elements, then first method is going to throw an invalid operation exception. So let's remove these elements from this sequence. And now when we run this, notice that we get invalid operation exception. And look at the exception message. It states, sequence contains no elements. Now, there is the other overloaded version of this first method. Now, we use that other overloaded version when we want to find the first element in a sequence based on a condition. So, notice that, you know, here we have two overloaded versions. One overloaded version does not take any parameters. The second overloaded version takes a parameter called predicate. Now, let's say, for example, we want to find the first even number from this sequence. If that's the case, then we specify a condition here. We know that a number is set to be even when it is divisible by 2. Okay, so this expression will be executed against each element, any element, you know, any first element that matches this condition, that's what will be returned by this method. So here, number 2 is the first element that satisfies this condition, so that's what we will get back result equals 2. Now again, this overloaded version is going to throw an exception if the sequence is empty. Again, look at the message invalid operation exception. Or even if the sequence contains elements, but if none of the elements satisfies this condition, again, we are going to get invalid operation exception. But this time, look at the exception message. It says, sequence contains no matching elements. So first or default. Now this method is very similar to first, except that this method does not throw an exception when there are no elements in the sequence or when no element satisfies the condition specified by the predicate. Instead, a default value of the type that is expected is returned. So let's understand what we mean by the statement, a default value of the type that is expected is returned. Now, let's put back those numbers here within this array. Now, when we call this first or default against that numbers collection, just like first, it's going to return the first element. In this case, uh, you know, we get the output result equals one. Now, what do you think is going to happen if the sequence does not contain any elements? Now, if we execute the first method, then it will throw an exception. But whereas first or default, it's not going to throw an exception. Instead, it's going to return the default value of the type that we are expecting. Now, what is the type that we are expecting here? First of all, notice that we are executing this method against the numbers array. And the type of numbers array is integer. So when we call first or default, it is going to return an integer type. And the default value for the integer type is 0, because integer is a value type. And the default value for integer is 0. So this method is going to return 0, but it will not throw the exception. So when we run that, notice that the output is result equals 0. Now for 
all reference types the default value is null but for value types uh, you know the default value depends on the actual underlying type for integers it is zero for boolean it is false etc now we have this method called last this method is very similar to first except that it returns the last element of the sequence last are default again this is very similar to first or default except that it returns the last element of the sequence now let's look at element at so this method returns an element at a specified index if the sequence is empty or if the provided index value is out of range then an argument out of range exception is thrown so let's look at that method so let's put back those numbers within the sequence so element at so we want the element at let's say for example index position 1 so index position start from 0 so 0 1 so at index position 1 within the sequence we have number 2 and that's what we will get when we run this result equals 2 now if the sequence does not contain any elements and when we run this we will get argument out of range exception and let's say there are elements so there are two elements but I'm giving index 2 since the index position starts with 0 1 so the maximum index position is 1 but we are specifying the index as 2 again we are going to get that same exception index out of range exception so that is element add now element at our default this is similar to element at except that this method does not throw an exception if the sequence is empty or if the provided index value is out of range instead a default value of the type that is expected is returned Now let's look at single this method is very interesting now again there are two overloaded versions of this method the overloaded version that does not have any parameters return the only element of the sequence so anytime you are expecting a sequence to contain just one element that's when this method is extremely useful okay so here notice that this number sequence contains one element and when we call single we are going to get that only element of that sequence so the result in this case will be one so let's say within the sequence we have that one element now when I say dot single and when we run this as you might expect result will be result equals one okay now what do you think is going to happen if the sequence contain two elements it's going to throw an exception okay invalid operation exception sequence contain more than one element and and we'll also get an exception if the sequence is empty so you know the single method is going to return the only element of the sequence the second overloaded version of the single method is used to find the only element in a sequence that satisfies a given condition so again there are two overloaded versions of this method so one overloaded version does not take any parameters the other overloaded version takes a parameter called predicate now let's say we want to find the only element within the sequence which is divisible by 2 okay now in this case there's only one element number 2 which satisfies this condition so when we run this we get that output result equals 2 now what do you think is going to happen if there are two elements that matches this condition again we are going to get that invalid operation exception or if no element matches this condition again we are going to get that invalid operation exception okay so an exception will be thrown by the single method if the sequence does not contain any elements or if no element in the sequence satisfies the given condition or if more than one element in the sequence satisfies the condition single or default now this method is very similar to single except that this method does not throw an exception when the sequence is empty or when no element in the sequence satisfies the given condition but keep in mind just like single this method will still throw an exception if more than one element in the sequence satisfies the given condition default if empty now this is very useful method if the sequence on which this method is called is not empty then the values of the original sequence are returned 
okay so here let's say we have numbers 1 2 and 3 now here the sequence is not empty now when we call default if empty now look at the return type it returns i enumerable of int unlike other element operators you know this method is actually returning a sequence back i enumerable of integer so let's actually store this in a variable called result and now let's use a for each loop for each where i n result what we want to do is print the value of i to the console so now when we run this as you might expect we'll get values 1 2 and 3 okay so but on the other hand if the sequence is empty then this method returns a sequence with the default value of the expected type now what is the default value of the ex expected type here it's you know basically integer so the default value is zero so now let's say for example we make this sequence empty okay if it is empty then the default value of the type we are expecting will be returned. It will be put in um, i enumerable in a sequence and then we'll get that back. So when we run this, the output will be zero. Now, there's the other overload version with the parameter that allows us to specify a default value. So default if empty there are two overloaded versions one overloaded version does not take any parameters the other one takes um, you know a default value since we are invoking it on an integer array now you know the default value that we have to supply will be of int type now let's say the default value is 100 okay and now this sequence does not contain any elements so as you might expect you know the output will be 100 because that's what will be returned you know in a sequence so now notice that 100 now on the other hand if the sequence actually contains elements then those elements will be returned that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day